So Cat Williams was on the Joe Rogan show yesterday, and uh, he had some interesting words. Him and Joe Rogan about um, certain agendas out here. Let's go to a clip from Slick Schemes and Joe Rogan to hear what he had to say. Hollywood is not really there to entertain you. Like, that's great that that happens, but um, propaganda is something that is important to all civilizations. Well, propaganda in Hollywood movies is built into the ingredients list. It's like if you want flour, you need wheat. <laughs> You're going to have to get the wheat. And if you want to be able to make movies about certain subjects, you have to be willing to work with some people that you know it'd be nice if you made it so that this is what we're trying to accomplish and this is showing the the negative side of this other society and this is the and this is our hero this is our hero who's going to go do america's bidding and go over there and you're like okay and those movies are successful and so they continue this relationship and you become a bit of a propaganda arm <coughs> for the government and in turn, they don't with you. <laughs> right. But that's what, that's what makes information so powerful is, you know, you don't care how people feel about the ritual. It's about does following the ritual work. Yeah. And so you can fool yourself into thinking there isn't one, but the evidence will be clear. So like when I when I be like, uh, oh, these guys are wearing dresses. And everybody's like, oh, he keeps talking about people wearing dresses. No, it's that not. That is it's, a weird thing. It's not like that. Look at it from a different way. Look at it. Show me one person that ever wore a dress in Hollywood unsuccessfully. <laughs> That's how you understand what a ritual is. Mm. Hey, they, they cooking right now. But I will say, I still do think it's a lot of people, a lot of dudes who wore dresses and got bent over and did all type of stuff, got balled up like old paperwork and thrown away. Still ain't make it. You know what I'm saying? Look at how many women, women too. Women got, they promised this and promised that on that casting couch. Talking about a movie robe, they end up doing corn. You know what I'm saying? I just think it's, we don't see them because they're not famous. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's, I think it's a lot of uh, people who did everything and got nothing probably because they just wasn't talented enough, but they was willing to do whatever. So 20 years ago, I knew that transgenders was going to be a thing. It wasn't because I was a prophet. It's just I had gotten so much information that I understood that things are secular, so I understood that the earliest I had seen that word transgender was um, Baphomet, the transgender. It's crazy how many times I've seen a picture of Baphomet, and this just didn't dawn on me. The Baphomet is half human, half goat, half man, half woman. <laughs> um, and so... I knew that in the ritual of Baphomet, the transgender, to show allegiance to him, you had to kiss his ring. Really? And it said both of those things. So I knew that both of those things will become popular in the future. I was just as surprised as Joe when he said it, but it, it's in, how could we not see it? It's in plain sight. And that Somehow, calling people the goat would be normalized over the sheep being always the most popular reference. Just... We got some good weed, cat. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. This must be the weed I'm trying time. to figure out how to jump in on that. Right. Wow. Just like... Joe Rogan is, is kind of stuck right here. This this how it had me when I when I heard him say that. It's you ever had something that's so obvious and right in front of your face, but I guess you just you you knew these things, but you didn't connect the dots 
the way that the dots were connected here. Cat put this so vividly and so simply, and yet such a short clip. Plus, when you add it to what Joe was saying, it's just, it's crazy how the agenda has been placed. And the whole world is being tricked into following it. You know what I'm saying? But that's the that's the trick of Satan. You know, to reverse things. Good seem bad and bad seem good. Left seem right and right seem left. Up seem down and down seem up. You know what I'm saying? Just like you said with the GOAT conversation. Now we've taken all these things and the the creme de la creme we refer to is a symbolistic goat it's crazy it's like Joe said like if you want the the trinkets that Hollywood got for you you want the flour you gotta get wheat just like they do with food they tell you something fat free but they ain't tell you about the 13 chemicals that they added to it that's cancerous sneak it right on in you know it's like how politicians sign in a bill, right? They'll tell you it's something that, oh, we're going to sign this bill for lower taxes. But they're going to connect something horrible to that bill as well. Sneak that right on in. And they have people, they have the world, like blindly following these agendas. If you notice, the, the trans agenda, did a video on that. Not too long ago, how they got trans men playing in women's leagues, this high school, and the guy that hurt three, um, the trans uh, guy that hurt three three women in the game, right? And people is outraged, but the government doesn't care. They doesn't hear you. They don't care what the women think. Because this agenda is what the government shall choose to push, what the world shall choose to push. They tricking all of our kids. They want to give them hormone blockers and try to introduce people. You know, introduce they give they teaching the stuff in the schools, putting it in books, trying to make four and five year olds comfortable with getting okay with the thought of changing their gender. And it's some of the sickest agendas that we've ever seen. But yet it's been clearly in front of our face all of this time. This Baphomet that they keep showing us. The language. Goat conversations, right? Where you take something satanic and make it the creme de la creme. It's the, it's the award of people saying that you're the GOAT, it's, it's, right? Got our minds tricked, man. We, and, and it's crazy how, how so many people are following these agendas willingly and unknowingly because they, they, trick, they trick a lot of us into it by just Throwing the symbolism out there. They got you repeating these lyrics. Everything that we, we are intaking, the music, the idiot box that we're watching, they throwing the symbolism at you. It's in, it's in the, the logos of all these different companies. The symbolism, it's all there. And we keep repeating it. We just keep regurgitating it. We keep, like, even some of the names of these people, like Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Uzi Vert, Lucy Vert. Like, it's just... It's crazy how they sneak all this stuff together and package it so nicely for us to. It's a nice little trap for us to fall into. And we have fallen as a society. But it's time for us to get back up. It's time for us to get back up and, and get back to God. But this is your boy P. Kemp. Let me know what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy.